it's a little bit cold outside. That's why I'm actually wearing a jacket this time, but I still got to drink my morning coffee. So um, I actually have something pretty interesting to talk about that I was thinking about last night. And um, it's that, so I grew up playing Donkey Kong 64. Of course, I believe that it deserves a remake, just like every other hardcore fan of some nostalgic game believes. But um, particularly what I wanted to talk about was I grew up with Donkey Kong 64 and I loved it so much. But I've never played Banjo and Kazooie. None of them. Not Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie on the Nintendo 64. And, you know, of course, I've never played Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts on, I think, the Xbox 360. But I've just, I've never played them. And, um,. I know they were made by the same people, Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo and Kazooie. However, I just never came around to get my hands on a copy of uh, Banjo and Kazooie. And now that I have an emulator and I have the option to download pretty much any Nintendo 64 game I want and play it for free, I just, for some reason, I still just don't play Banjo and Kazooie. I. Whenever I watch videos of it, I'm like, yeah, this is just like Donkey Kong 64. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss it. I'm just more or less saying, like, it took an entire childhood for me to really fully appreciate Donkey Kong 64. So, if I'm going to go to Banjo and Kazooie, I feel like, you know, because it's an old game, you know, you're gonna have to envelop some part of your life around it because you know you can't just hey hey you can't just give somebody uh, a copy of GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64 and be like hey man this is uh I know the graphics are really shitty but for its time it was awesome man you know uh, why don't you get into this game and, and tell me how you like it he's gonna hate it if he's somebody that doesn't know Nintendo 64 games very well or doesn't know the, the context of the limitations, they're just going to hate it. Don't tell me anything about the story because uh, I, want, I want to actually set up like a, a live stream of me actually playing it for the first time, like experiencing it for the first time because I am, I, I do want to get into it. You know, I'm not just trying to shoot it down because I never played it in my childhood. I just, uh, first off, I'm holding out for some kind of remake, man. I think they should really remake the first two, you know, make their own definitive edition of that. I'd still play it no matter how shitty it was. And, um, and I want to make a video or a, a live stream of me playing it for the first time. So really what, what I want, so really what I want you to do is uh go down in the comments and, and tell me why should i play banjo and kazooie if i am a dk64 fan why should i play banjo and kazooie what is the big difference between the two that that makes one more special than the other and their own respective ideas um i would be very interested to hear that because like i said I feel like I have already experienced the format of the game because I was a huge Donkey Kong 64 fan. All right, but if there is something completely different about Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, I, I want to experience that as well. That's pretty cool. All right, if it's just like DK64, except the gameplay style is a lot different, like the mechanics and whatnot, sure, man, I'll jump in, but. I'm just trying to prepare myself for what to expect because I might actually uh, be interested in playing Banjo and Kazooie for the first time. And that, that would be really fun, really fun. But yeah, that's all I got to talk about today, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, you can go check out the first video or uh, stand by tomorrow and maybe we'll I'll have the next video done. But with everything being said, stay safe and take it easy. Change, change.